Hello Collective, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance. As always, my sweets. Okay. Y'all. Somebody here is being childish. Look, I don't know. We gotta be honest. Sometimes this is us. Sometimes we act childish. Everybody can, you know. Um, someone doesn't want to grow up. Somebody's playing mind games. Okay, that's on this on this on the back. Your friends are here to help. So this could be a friend, or uh, this could be somebody that's like, hey, um, it's time to admit that this is a problem or that you need help with this. Like, reach out. You know, there are people here to help you. Okay. Um, somebody could be playing mind games as in like they're really like stuck on their mind on something. It just keeps going around and around and around and around. Right. But then, you know, someone is playing childish games with childish coming out. Right. Something's going on there. This could also be about childhood. This could be about a karmic cycle that's been in your life ever since childhood. I'm hearing 12 years. Okay. I know that, that we're ending with Jupiter or is it Jupiter. We're ending a 12 year cycle. So right now with this, uh, with the astrological new year, I don't know, like in depth and depth about it. I actually want to do some more research about around it. And, um, but yes, so some heads up about that may be also something about this new full moon that's coming up. I think it's on the 18th of March. If you're watching this as I'm putting it out, or you could be watching it closer or after, you know, so let it apply to you as it does. Five of Cups. Somebody is lamenting. Somebody here is like, damn. They don't know how to make something work. Or they don't or they're realizing that whatever that whatever they used to do in the past is really not gonna work to help carry them into a new future. Okay. So whether or not this is you being like, I'm cutting out childish or things about myself as well as people in my life or this is just a heads up about somebody being childish in your energy somebody that's in your energy is being childish incoming planning a return to this connection so maybe perhaps there is somebody this person could be codependent is trying to make a return and have a connection with you again maybe you dropped the connection with this person because they were playing some kind of childish mind games with you and you're like uh no <sighs> Okay, maybe you're just like, look, I'm over it because nobody freaking cares. <laughs> like, don't have time for it, boo. Like, they're building themselves. Okay, so maybe this person just needed some time to grow up or needed some time to find, you know, to realize, you know, why they were acting the way that they were or whatever it was, you know. Yeah, I really feel, okay. This person definitely is definitely feeling codependent on your energy. And they're regretting you leaving definitely six of cups childhood friendship energy they're trying to sneak back in or they're trying to be sneaky in your energy something happened in the past and didn't work out with that eight of pentacles in reverse also heard this it's possible this person lost their job okay i'm hearing you were right okay seven of pentacles came out again or not seven of pentacles sorry seven of swords yeah, and that Ace of Wands. Yeah, there definitely was codependent, overly attached energy. There weren't proper boundaries between you and this person in the past. Maybe you set up those proper boundaries, you know. But this person is trying to Seven of Snores. Seven of Snores. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're like, I'm bored. I'm over it. Like, nah, I'm not playing these childish games with you anymore. You're codependent. You need an issue. But this person is definitely finding that in your absence, you know, Absence making the heart grow fonder. They have you have their heart. They really have some feelings about you. They're really realizing that in the past, you know, this was not an equal give and take, or you did. Okay. Um, so this seven of swords energy, it can be past energy. You know, this person could have realized I did this and this wasn't right. You know, I wasn't equally giving to this, I was being codependent. Um, and maybe this person wants to break free of that codependence, right? Maybe you broke free of this person and their codependence. Maybe both of you were codependent on each other, right? Yes. So definitely chariot card. This person is definitely wanting to leave behind the seven of swords imbalance energy. They definitely want to come towards you. Empress in reverse on the back of the deck. They're feeling very, <sighs> yeah. 
with that six of pentacles, like I was not nurturing. I was not giving. I was not friendly. I was not compassionate. I was not empathetic. I was not, um, I'm hearing seeing you, valuing you for who you were. And I'm hearing too that for some of you, this, this person is going to surprise you. Like, like it's going to surprise you. you. Like, it's that person that you're like, what? Like them? Like, I never thought they would have finally realized the truth or something like, damn, they actually woke up finally. Yeah, I am getting that for some of you, this is a person from your childhood, you know? And maybe it's just like, yo, when I know that when I was younger, I was childish, I was all this other stuff, you know, like, but you seem like you're doing good nowadays. Yeah, this person has found their strength. Yeah, and they definitely want to close the distance three of, of uh, almost a three of wands. Three of Swords, I mean, but it's the Three of Wands. Yeah, they definitely are realizing that they, that they, this person has been through some kind of karmic cycle or something with this Justice card in reverse here, or they're saying, I didn't get a chance to speak my truth. I want a new beginning. I want a new start. I want a fresh start in this situation. I heard, let bygones be bygones. <sighs> yep. Ace of Swords and a betrayal. A truth has come out in this person's life about a betrayal. Either they've realized the truth, like, damn, I betrayed this person, or somebody has, has betrayed them in their life. Look, who is this person? A queen of swords in reverse and an empress in reverse. This could be a karmic person this person was dealing with. Whoever it was, who is this? Who is this queen? The sun. And it landed right on top of it, too. <laughs> I'm like, who is this Queen of Swords? And the, and the card went, shoop, it landed right on top of the, that Queen of Swords. <laughs> okay, um, with the Sun card, immediately I'm drawn again to the to the child. So somebody that could be from your childhood or somebody that's from this person's childhood. Um, could be somebody that they have a child with, okay? Somebody that at one point that they thought that they... In, uh, this person has been enlightened too as well the sun also means like the, the the light is being shown on who this person really is this person just now figured out so they even so they figured out inside themselves like damn i'm this queen of swords in reverse like damn i was being some bullshit or this person for a lot of you it's both this person okay this person had some karma come around. Spirit said, let me tell you about yourself by showing you yourself through another person, right? And this person betrayed them. Yeah. So this is a burden that this person wants to drop now. They're just like, oh no, I got to grow up. I got to stop playing. I got to stop playing with this because uh -uh, that's not what's up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This codependency, they definitely. So if they were very codependent on you, they left and went and got with somebody that acted the same way that you did. and Or they, they did in a relationship with you and they were like, oh, this ain't cute. Those karmics do do that. <laughs> they be holding that mirror up to you and you're like, oh, uh-uh. And then a lot of times it takes us sometimes to wake up to the fact that, you know, that they're marrying back a part of ourselves we need to heal within us, right? That's why it's so easy to villainize them or to victimize ourselves in karmic relationships. Because they're just like, they remind us of the part of ourselves we'd rather forget, right? We'd rather ignore, but that's why they're there. Speaking of ignoring, look at this. Oh my gosh. What is this energy? This whole week I've been picking up this King and Queen of Cups energy. It's in like all of my readings. I'm about to show it to y'all. But yeah, so the four of pentacles came up. This person did not want to let it go. This codependent energy, right? But whatever this, right? I don't want to let this go. I don't want to let this pinnacle go. This pinnacle got taken away anyway, right? And it's like... <sighs> yeah, I think it's just more greedy. This person was being very greedy, being very stingy. Or this person, yeah... It's both. When I say that, it's both, right? Because I said this person ran into somebody that was acting like them and it made them realize, oh shit, that's me. Oh shit, it's me, right? Yeah. And this person that they were dealing with was very stingy, very greedy, held on, very possessive, 
held on to them really close. And now this person is really thinking a lot about how here they did dirty here in the past to a queen of cups. They rejected this person, even though king of cups, they really had feelings for this person. They rejected this person. There was a lot of fights and chaos, right? Now this doesn't have to be like this doesn't have to be a lover. This can definitely be a friend that just has like really, you know, it's like that equal energy, like, oh, you know, I really cared about that person. They really cared about me. Like the truth about what really happened kind of in the past. There it's like they're they're going back and they're thinking on it based on everything they've been through since then. And now they're wanting to come back towards you. Right? Tell me about this betrayal. Or tell me about this truth, this truth of betrayal that came out against this person. Or it could be an ending, something that they needed to end. Ten, oh, oh, snap. Yeah, definitely is a betrayal. They, this person definitely had some kind of dealings with a karmic masculine energy, okay? Whether or not they got in a relationship with this person or what. I was drawn earlier today to rewatch the video that I put out the this uh that about uh, the friend of uh, an ex friend of yours like betrayed you and came in between you and a love and in that reading it came out as a king and queen of cups that got broken apart from each other you know and this energy right here came out again and it was a a, a friend used something that they knew about you to betray you right so I am being reminded of that same combination here. So definitely could be family here or money involved, okay? But I'm feeling more family with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you were something long-lasting here. Something Somebody wanted something long-lasting here in this situation. It, it's feeling more like family. This could have been a karmic family member that, came, that um, did this. That definitely caused five of wands. That caused a lot of fighting here with with an emperor so a person maybe perhaps you had that you were interested in or a, perhaps a fatherly figure with this emperor and the ten of pentacles it's given me somebody had a fight with their father and something their father said really trapped them really got stuck in their mind and trapped them maybe this person said something and then like they have been reflecting on it and they're like damn i sound just like my daddy like damn i sound just like my you know my disrespectful father it's just like oh it's like this person had a moment um, where they, like, I don't have kids, but I've had talks with my friends, um, before when they're like, they've said something to their kid. And then afterwards they've been like, Oh, I sounded just like my mom or, Oh, I sounded just like my dad when I said that. And I don't like it. Like, no, I don't want to handle it that way. And I feel like this person had, had that moment where like something happened. They said something, they did something. And then they were like, damn, like I am really reflecting some negative energy or some negative personality traits here that that I really don't I don't want to be like that you know um and then for others of you it was the fact that this person's parents specifically their father said something to them created a bunch of chaos and kept them trapped in a, in a cycle where they wouldn't let a karmic cycle end so it is a karmic masculine here right that King of Wands in reverse is a, car is a karmic masculine, right? And then the Emperor came up, so maybe, perhaps a karmic father or just karmic traits in their own masculine energy here. Could also be an Aries person that they were dealing with, okay? Yeah, right? Somebody said something that really was like, no, that's the end. And this person is perceiving that as a betrayal. Like, damn, this person betrayed me. They misguided me or misled me and caused me to end to end this. And this person is realizing you have their heart. Like, they feel a way about you that they didn't realize in the past. Yeah, they've awakened to the fact that, oh, wow, no, I felt a certain, I did feel a certain way about this person. And, you know, I was being sneaky and, you know, I wasn't giving as much as I should have. And, and I mean, just because this person has had all this realization does not mean that you have to allow them back into your life. You know, the point of it is not, um, 
but this is the point, right? They got put in a situation where they saw themselves or got told about themselves or reflected that got reflected back to them. So this person is learning, right? But there is still some codependent energy here. Maybe they're just learning about their codependent energy or they could be still feeling a little bit codependent. It's giving me more... Thank you, spirits. Uh, tower card and the seven of cups. This is giving me cheating energy as well because it fell out over here over the I don't want to let go. So this person could have had other people on the side that they didn't want to let go of in the past. Okay. Um, they caused a tower moment to happen here as well. Or perhaps maybe the person that they were with. It's like, I had this tower moment. I realized I was holding on and being greedy and acting possessive and acting this way because I was scared I was going to get cheated on or because I was scared there'd be other people um, standing in the way. Yeah. Um, temperance here. Uh, things are balancing out. Harmony is happening in this situation here. Things are, um, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's given me this, I gave this out, so I'm getting this back. Oh, I see what I'm doing. This person's doing a lot of reflecting here. See with the, the reflection in the water, definitely. And it's causing an awakening. And um, it's causing, they're they are waking up to the imbalance that was happening here. They really, they are. And at the very least, they're like, I should have treated, I should have treated you better. Yeah, I'm hearing there was something real. I'm realizing here there was something real here. Also, I think this person realizes if this is like an ex-lover situation here, I think this person is realizing like maybe perhaps it's like I don't I don't know if we're going to have what we had in the past. Yeah. They definitely are they definitely are finding their strength. That's twice of the strength card here has come out tell me about this code because i get so i'm getting so like pulled into this codependent energy or this codependent card right here the judgment with the hermit card on the back of the deck that's right here the temperance this had to do with a taurus or a sagittarius i got guided to to share that Possibly a Capricorn. I saw the devil card back there. Yeah, it just keeps saying they're waking up with this judgment energy here. They're really, they're waking up to how codependent they were in the past. They're being called to heal this codependency. They could be being called to apologize. That temperance card ended up on the front of the deck again. Excuse me. Yeah. But page of wands in reverse. I don't think they're coming forward. Yeah. I don't I don't think this person is, currently right now they're not. They they're planning, they want to come forward, right? The chariot card is here and that coming back energy is, is here. But at the same time, hurt in reverse. This person is being asked to make a to make a choice. Perhaps they know they need at, at some point to come towards you and apologize, but they want to there's something else they have to go through first or, you know, maybe it's not the right time. Tell me about this chariot card. I'm hearing in divine time. Ooh. Page of swords, they do. They do. But for some of them, there is a relationship here. They have to end first, okay? I think I feel like there's a karmic relationship that they're in right now that they need to deal with and they need to end first before they can come forward. Or they just might want to tell you. Like, they might, when they come forward and they tell you, they might tell you, hey, you know, like, I broke up with this person or, um, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not, I don't talk to my dad anymore or something like that. You know, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got that. You just kind of be like, oh, okay. Okay. Good, I mean, good, good for you, I guess. Yeah. Justice card in reverse. They know. They know that what happened was messed up. 
they're kind of angry. They're angry here with this Knight of Knight of Swords in reverse. They're definitely not going to come towards you. They might call you or text you or message you, but it's going to be in the future. The full card. Once they have a new beginning, once they've ended a relationship, they've gone on this journey, they've started a journey to begin a new beginning. Once they're ready to have this new beginning, that's when they're going to message you and let you know. It's not giving me a lot of like, they're going to immediately message you and be like, hey, let's be together. Oops. Tell me, the magician, they are manifesting a chance to do this though. Or they're trying to manifest something else. Tell me about this injustice this person is so mad about. Maybe they're scared you're mad at them. So they're like, oh, maybe it's not the right time. Or they're just dealing with a lot of anger issues in their own life. Yeah, they want to be single first. They want to be single. They want to be independent. They want to be standing on their own feet. It's like they want to be able to be like, look at, you know, kind of like, hey, like, I'm sorry. You know, I've realized a lot about myself, you know, like I've gotten out of that codependent relationship that you might, you might've been advising this person that they were in a very codependent, you know, like your dad rules your life. You need to do something about it, or you need to, you know, find your own strength of voice or something. You need to stand up for yourself, but I'm going to have to put up the boundaries that need to happen between me and you, because that's just what needs to happen. Um, and this person is like, Hey, you're right. I'm really working on my codependency issues. I'm, you know, Hey, you know, I. I've broke free of this or I'm trying to break free of this energy, you know, like I, I am going to rehab or I'm going and I'm going to therapy and I'm, you know, I'm dealing with this, you know, and I have my own place now and, um, you know, I have a job and it's steady and, you know, they, they want to be able to give you really good news when they talk to you. They want to, to be like, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting my ish together. Like I'm getting it together. Um, and they want, they're, and they're not going to talk to you until they can tell you that, until they can say, you know, they've come to the realization that they really need to get it together, but they're not going to come forward to you and talk to you um, until they are more independent, until they, I really think, feel like they're prioritizing their healing and prioritizing getting out of these karmic relationships, healing from whatever betrayal this was that came out, the truth came out, this person was trying to betray them. Um, you might have even told them like, hey, hey, heads up, I don't feel like this person has your your best interest at heart. And they were like, why don't you mind your own? Or they just didn't believe you. They might have projected energy on, you know, projected that energy. But they're 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 really angry here because they're like, wow. Um, this could, even could have been a situation here where they believe somebody else over you. And now that it's come out that you were telling the truth and this person they believed over you, um, was really trying to do them dirty. And they're like, oh my God, like they're, they were right. Like, and I want to tell them they were right, but I want to come forward in the right way. Like, I don't want to be like, you're right, but I'm still living with them and, and all this other stuff, right? They want to be like, I'm on my own. I don't talk to them anymore. I am out of that toxic relationship. I'm healing. I'm getting therapy or, you know, I'm getting out there. Um, I have, you know, I, you know, I got that other job and I'm really, you know, I'm trying to get my life together. It, it's Oh, it's not like they want to impress you to try to get back with you. I really feel like they, um, they want you to be proud of them because they want, they want you to see that, that they get it, that they were like, you were right. You were right. I should have believed you. I should have took your advice. I should have listened to you, but I had to go on this whole karmic cycle apparently. And I just had to hit, you know, I had to go through all this BS, but I wanted to tell you, you were right. But also look how well I'm doing now. And it's not like in a, you know, they, they yeah, it's just, they just want to be in a good place before they reach back out to you. Yeah, exactly. They want to balance things out. They're juggling a lot right now and they're like, it's your, it's, <laughs> they're like, don't get offended when they say this, but they're like, you're on my to-do list. Not like my to, my to-do list, right? But they're like, you're on my list of people. This person even could be going through rehab and, you know, they have like the 12 steps where you go and apologize to everyone that, you know, that you betrayed, that you did this and you go back, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. 
it could be a situation like that where they're like, I got to get other stuff together, but they know, or even if they're not like in a, in a program or anything like that, it is kind of like they're doing their own kind of program in their head, but they're like, I know at some point I have to, to do what I have to do. Right. At some point I have to swallow my pride and admit defeat at some point. Right. Cause the five of swords is about competition, but it's also about, I'll do whatever it takes to get victory. This person is like, that was wrong. I did this in the past. I made you compete with other people or I made you feel like your opinion didn't matter or like, you, you know, you didn't know what you were talking about. And turns out I'm the one that didn't know what I was talking about. Um, it is a little bit of having to kill their pride, kill their ego in this situation and admit defeat, admit that you were right, they were wrong. And, but they also at the same time want to be like, however, I'm getting my shit together, <laughs> right? They don't want to come back to you like, and everything is still a hot mess. They don't want to look like a hot mess to you. That's because they're just like, I don't want to come back towards you. And then you start asking things about my life. Well, well, how is this going? Or how is that going? And they're like, I haven't even started. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Just so you can be like, oh, so you're still kind of in all the fuck shit. You're still in the same exact place that you were. They don't want to come back towards you. So it's like, it's not like you're not a priority. But it's like there is still some ego that they need to get rid of because because the situation with with you should not be it should it should mostly be about them just apologizing to you. Right. Because they know they need to. Um, but they also want to look good while they're apologizing to you. Um, yeah. They do want there to be like uh, like let bygones be bygones. Um, they are kind of like. You know, like, oh, you're doing good. I'm doing good. We're both doing better now. I'm so sorry that that happened in the past. Oh, okay. And they want, that's how they want the conversation to go. They're like, I want it to just be, you know, chill. Knight of Cups. I think they keep trying to say, they keep trying, like, I feel like in the front, like, right, in the back of their mind, they do want to be friends with you again, or they do hope that them, which is why they want to look good when they reach out to you. There is a sense in the back of their mind that it's like, you know, but, you know, I just want to apologize and they don't, they don't have to set me back. We don't have to be friends, but if we could get back together or if we could be friends again. That made me so happy. Like, I've, I'd really want that. That's in the deep back of their mind. They might not admit it because it feels kind of heartbreaking. I feel this in my heart, in my heart chakra. It feels kind of heartbreaking for them to, to put that hope out there because I think a bigger part of them knows maybe perhaps you've really moved on and you really don't want to be friends or you don't want to be in a relationship with them anymore. Um, and so there is that little spark of hope in the back of their heart, in the back of their mind where they're like, but if we could be together again, that would be amazing because I really do still really love this person. Or I do really still really care about this person. Um, but I don't want to bring it to the forefront of my mind because then it's going to be like another stab in my heart. And this person feels a little emotionally, uh, they're a little emotionally sensitive right now. So they're like, let's not even talk about it. Let's not even. Yeah. So it's like. There is like a fear here that, that they will be turned down or that they will be rejected. Um, so it's like, I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. But they really want to get their stability in order first. Right. There's that um, Capricorn Taurus energy that I was feeling before. Right. Like King of Pentacles. They really want to put a best foot forward. Oh. Kitty. Oh, what are you doing? Mm -mm. You see my cards here? Don't do it. <laughs> I said, mm -mm, don't do it. He said, he's turned away. Oh. He's about to jump in the middle of my cards. So he kept looking down at my cards like, can I make that jump over there? Don't do it.
Yeah. They're they're trying to, they're kind of trying to duck off and rest and and recuperate, get it together, give you some space, you know. But they know in the back of their mind, you know, that they're like, I know. There is a wish or a hope, like a glimmer of hope in the back of their mind that, like I said, at some point there could be some kind of reunion or there can be some kind of second chance energy for here for you guys. But right now, their priority is to really stabilize their life, to really get it together in the phys- in the material sense, in the physical sense, right? So whether or not this is ending a relationship, you know, getting their own home, getting their own place, getting getting stable in their in their career or in their you know source of money. Um there's a lot, excuse me, there's a lot changing in this person's life right now very rapidly. And they are trying to find a footing. They're trying to find a, a point of stability um so that they can um I almost said cling on to it, but then they but then they stopped and were like, no that kind of energy is this codependency from the past that this person is trying to heal and get away from. So this person is like, I'm just trying to get, yeah, they're just like, I'm just trying to get my ish together. Like, I, that's it. Like, I'm just trying to get my ish together. I'm just trying to lay out future plans. And when I talk, this person does definitely want to look good in your eyes. They definitely, you know, they don't want to come back toward you a hot flaming sack of garbage, right? They're like, I, you know, they want you to be like, oh, that's really good. Your life seems like it's really getting together. And they're like, yeah, it, it is, you know, so that they, so that they do have some kind of stability, right? So that they, when they come back towards you, it, you, it, it, it at least gives you the sense that, oh, this person is working on the stability. Oh, this person is trying to get it together. Oh, this person, you know, they're doing it. Okay. You know, so that in the back of their mind, they're like, maybe there's a little, a little foothold, a little something there to be like, Maybe in the future that could grow to a springboard that could spring us into something in the future, a relationship, something like I want to get it together so that we can actually have a healthy, a possibility for a healthy relationship of whatever kind, platonic, romantic, whatever it is in the future or, you know, family in the future. Um, yeah. So this person is like, I'm trying to get it together. Um, because, you know, you do. You have their heart. Um, and this person is trying to get into their into some, some masculine energy here as well. Um, let them reach out. Put in the effort. They're realizing that they're having to to, to, to put in the effort, right? And, um, and let it kind of happen in divine time is what I'm getting. Okay, well, wow, how refreshing. Somebody that we're actually talking about from your past that's actually trying to get it together and not trying to be sneaky or lying or, you know, still in karmic relationships. This person is trying to heal some stuff. They've been through some stuff. Um, and they are laying groundwork, laying plans, and, and yes, and putting those plans in, into action. Um Yeah, but like I said earlier, projection. Someone is misplacing blame. This person was definitely projecting a lot of energy onto this connection between the two of you in the past. I feel like this person is saying that they were very jealous. Um, be aware of this emotion. This person was feeling extremely jealous of you or your relationships or what you had going on with you in the past. Um, yeah move on. This isn't going anywhere. I really feel like this person rejected you. I feel like you feel rejected by this person or you realize this really wasn't going anywhere with this jealous project projection energy that was happening. Um, and it's just like, no, this person is also saying that they had some kind of third party interference that caused a betrayal to happen in their life as well, where they were like, Oh, like shit. Um,
options again you have their heart and let them reach out came out again so this person is exploring someone is keeping options i feel like this person is exploring options as to how the two of you could possibly um come back together third party interference but they're they they are acknowledging that there was some kind of third either they played a third party interference or there was a third party interference that happened in between the two of you that this person is acknowledging that they were being childish they were projecting this person a karmic person definitely right this karmic energy played this third party interference and came in between but i really feel like this person is at least acknowledging they're like i acknowledge that i that you know i let them i let this person come in in between us and get in between us um so that is a uh, their understanding right their codependency they understood how they needed to grow up or how they needed to you know yeah they are working against you betrayal they realized this person was really betraying them and they realized that they were really betraying themselves by uh either committing to this person you know they want to commit yeah i feel like they they committed to this person um and committed to <sighs> something about like um something about this karmic person here demands loyalty that's why this person felt trapped. This person felt bound to them. Like, I have to. And they also didn't see that. They're also saying, I did not see this person for who they were very clearly. Call to action. Put in some work. Yeah. So, um, I feel like this person, in a way, like, betrayed you by choosing this other karmic person. You could have been a person saying, hey. Um, but the truth was, this person really betrayed themselves, right? But, um, in a way, they, they see it as a betrayal where they... Um, they didn't trust you or they split away from you or they turned their back on you or they rejected you in some kind of way um, and believed this person over you. And in the meantime, who this person really is has came out, right? The truth about who this person is or the truth about how the, the, the truth will always out, right? Well, the truth finally outed about how this person was being very manipulative and really trapping this person right um and also i feel like this person is realizing wow um i have a lot of codependency issues probably maybe from my childhood especially if this person is being represent is representing like their father or like the parental um energy or somebody that feels like they have some kind of boss or energy control energy over this person um it definitely does definitely does feel like a family member or it feels like somebody that has control over their finances so a boss or a uh, a father figure um definitely a ma masculine energy does and obviously it's just energy it doesn't have to be a man um, but it is masculine energy here and this person is realizing you know this person they were codependent on this person's approval but they saw that this person was actually keeping them trapped actually keeping them in drama actually you know creating more um more of a betrayal here or, or lead, misleading this person about who you really were and just in general i feel like this person realized this person misled them in general in their life about a lot of things not just about you not just about the situation between the two of you right and they're like oh my gosh like this person has really done some some work some, some mental issues with has really given me some mental issues and they're really realizing that right and, and I definitely think that this person also went and got in another karmic relationship with somebody else as well. Um, as as well as that and had some some bad some bad issues. So if this is a person that you were in a relationship with and they were kind of they didn't really give there was an equal give and take, there wasn't proper boundaries in between you and this person. Um, you know, they kind of just took, took, took as much as they could. In this situation, um, they might have even left you like a single parent or a sing, you know, um, in this, possibly in this situation. Um, or they could have left you and or they could have gotten somebody pregnant on the side. Um, but either way. Um, but you could, you might even identify this person as having like, I hate to say these words, you know, but it's, it's, it's labels people understand. You might have labeled this person as having mommy or daddy issues or something like that, you know? Um, and you're just like, yo, you got issues and you're taking out your issues from your childhood on every woman that you're in a relationship with and you need to get it together. And this person's like, F you. <laughs> and you're like, okay, bye. And then they were like, oh shit. I do have issues. Um, it's kind of the, the issue that, especially around possessiveness. There's this issue of possessiveness with this person. Um, 
where it's like they hold on too tightly and they smother people they smother people or they expect them to be like oh um it's like they have a very certain vision of what a person is or certain archetypes that people should should traditionally fit into and when people come into their lives and don't fit into their box they register those people as chaos or they register those people as bad people or people with issues um and then they get very mad at those people for for having um um they get very mad at those people in the past when they didn't fit into those boxes because they're like no if you're my girlfriend or if you're a best friend this is how it should be period. This is how you should act. This is how, and then they're realizing that, oh, wow, that's really toxic. Whatever views or whatever, you know, because it's like you have to let people be who they are. You can't just um, expect people to fit into this little tiny square of what a girlfriend, what a boyfriend, what a friend is. And if that person doesn't fit perfectly inside that, they're trash or they're, they're toxic or they have issues or, you know, it's like, oh, and this person is realizing that this box that they have is toxic. You know, it was taught a very toxic mindset that was taught to them. You know, that it's a very limiting belief that not everybody's going to fit into those little boxes. Not everybody's going to gonna look perfectly and act perfectly like you expect them to. People are going to be different. People don't have to live up to the person that they are in your mind. Right. You have to let that go and you have to let somebody be who they are, not just what you project onto them or what um, what you expect them to be in your mind or, you know, oh, this is who this person is. And then if they change or if then if they show you a different part of themselves, it's oh, you were fake the whole time or you're this or that. And it's like, no, like I just changed or no, I'm just not who you thought I was. And I don't have to be. You know, that's an issue in your mind. And I feel like this person is realizing that, you know, they're really realizing that like, oh, I had an issue putting, expecting people to fit into tiny little boxes or to, to, to fit under neat little labels so that it was easier for me. And then if somebody didn't go along with that, I shoo shooed them out of my life and told them that it was all their issues and all their problems when really the issue was I needed to let somebody just be who they were, not just who I thought they were or who I wanted them to be or who I thought they should be based on how I was raised. Um, or, you know, uh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like this person likes to put labels on people and then they get very upset when people don't fit into nice little even little boxes and nice little evil little labels and, you know. And I think they got, um, they either got into another friendship or got into another relationship with somebody who was a lot like that and then they were like, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like somebody else telling me who I should be. Then they realized, ah, oh, so that's what everybody was kind of talking about. Like, oh, yeah, I don't like that. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I need to let go of that. And it was from a sense of control. This person had this sense of possessiveness or this sense of this, like, I don't want to let somebody be something else because um, cause then, I, then it's harder for me to quantify. Then it's harder for me to understand. Then it's harder for me to... I really feel like this person felt out of control for a very large part of their life about something maybe perhaps throughout their whole childhood. They felt very out of control with what happened with their life, you know, or they felt very out of control about how they should eat, how they should dress, how they should look, how they should walk, what they should do. And so they just grew up thinking that's normal. It's normal to have these type, these very rigid, controlled you know, narrow views of the world and people and all of this. And then, you know, they, they're realizing that they wrote off a lot of people in their mind when those people didn't fit into those little boxes that they thought people should fit into um, because they were forced to fit in boxes for their whole lives. And then they realized, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fit inside a box. And oh, I've been asking all these other people in my life to fit inside these boxes and that's not fair. And it's not fair that I was asked to fit into a box. And it's, and it's all this chain reaction that's happening in this person's head of letting go of some of these codependent issues, you know, um, mentalities, paradigms they had, they have been taught in their mind, right? So I definitely feel at some point in the future, unknown to this person right now that they do plan they do plan on coming back around um to to at least apologize even though the page of cups did not come up 
but I feel like they do. Um, I'm gonna ask about it. What does this person plan to say to the collective when they do come back towards them? They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Uh, they're just like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Because I don't feel like they're at the point where they, like how I just sat down and I verbalized everything they were going to through. I don't think they're at the point where they could literally, where they've reflected or they're, I don't think they're out of it enough yet to step, to step back and get a big enough. They're starting to understand it, right? And they're trying to heal it. Yeah. They definitely want to come forward and make some kind of offer here, but they don't know how they're going to do it. They want to offer some kind of stability here, right? Like I said, they, they want to offer, they, they're like... They're showing me like a step or like a, like something to hold on to. Um, but they want it to be stable first. It's like, I have to build the step first for, for there to be like a shelf or something like an offer. I have to build this offer first before it can come. Yeah. I really feel like this person, devil energy in reverse, is definitely, it's like this person, like I have a lot of codependency issues that I need to drop and I need to let go of first. And that's my main priority. Um, like I said, it's very per per possible this person lost a job or, or lost some kind of like serious stability in their life. They weren't putting in work and whatever they were doing wasn't really working in the past. They definitely do want a brand new beginning. They definitely do want a new start with you. That is part of their wish fulfillment, but... They're like, I don't know how, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what, I gotta, yeah, I gotta balance stuff out first in my life. So yeah, this person is just like up in the air sometime in the future. I don't know. Just a heads up at some point in the future, this person, I feel like is going to come back towards you. But right now I feel like they're actually, they're, there's a lot they have to walk away from first before they would feel like ready to talk to you yeah they don't know how to exactly right i said the page of pinnacles didn't or the page of cups didn't come up they they don't know how they're like how do i do this how do i build that trust <sighs> how do i show you that my feelings are true when i feel like we're both going in different directions and I feel like they, they definitely feel like you would like, shing, shing, like, if they came towards you, you'd be like, how dare you, you bleep, 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 like, get out of my face, like, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, they're like, this person would put me in my freaking place. But they do, they do want to apologize, they do want to seek forgiveness. There's a higher front energy here. They just don't know how. They really just don't know how. They're like, for some of them, they're just like, how would I even talk to that person? Like, how would I even do that? Like, do you know what I did to them? Like, if I was them, I wouldn't give me another chance. I'd never want to talk to me either. Like, how am I supposed to do that? Yeah, they are apologetic if they don't know how. Yeah. And that's why they're not coming forward. So if you're, yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to stand in this truth. It's just going to, it's going to be in a divine time moment where things just line up and it works out sometime in the future. So if you know who this person is and you're expecting some kind of apology or closure anytime soon, I don't think that you should expect that anytime soon. I feel, and it's not because this person doesn't want to. It's literally because they're like, I'm healing myself right now. And there's a lot I have to walk away from. And for some of y'all, y'all block this person and they're just like, how? Like, they've blocked me. How am I even supposed to... You've cut off communication. They're like, how can I even do that to begin with, right? This person is definitely trying to manifest this, right? But, yeah. My wants. There's something that they have to balance out. They have to leave first. So they're like, okay, clearly this person doesn't want to talk to me right now or clearly... It's not meant to happen right now, so I'm going to turn and go look this way and go handle this and go handle that and go heal this and do that. But in the back of my mind, 
you know, as they're going forward and doing that in the back of their mind, you keep coming up and they're like, I know at some point I have to try to circle back around and let this person know I am apologetic towards them. Um, some of them even could be praying about it um, or they could be like, you know, kind of just sending that message out there to the universe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I hope you forgive me kind of energy. Yeah, I am walking away from the seven of swords energy. I'm trying to I'm trying to face this. Yeah, but they're, it's like, I don't know what to say, or I don't know when I'm going to get an opportunity, or you have me blocked, or, you know, that is what it is. Now, I'm not telling you to go run and unblock this person or anything like that. That's not what I'm telling you at all. You know, especially if you know that there was a lot of codependent energy and there was issues in the past, because I don't feel like this person is ready. They're not ready to be, you know, like I said, they don't even know what to say. So even if you unblock them, like, they don't even know what to say to you or how to approach you or how to do it. Yeah. They are trying to get some kind of victory here in this situation. But there's still some secrets. I think the secret, the sneaky secret, like I said, is that they do. They're trying to be cool and casual, like, oh, no, it's okay. You know, if they don't want anything to do with me, that that's that's totally okay. It's fine. It's fine. If they don't want anything to do with me, that's okay. I, I, I totally understand. But on the inside, they're like, oh, God, but why? Like, I just want it's like they don't want to admit to themselves, right? They don't want to admit to themselves how much they do want you to be back in their life because because they're like, it hurts too much to think about the fact that if I, because they're like, if I come towards you, you're going to be like, take a fucking hike, right? Take a hike, like <laughs> eight of cups, go on a long ass hike to who gives a fuck deal, okay? And they're like, that would really hurt. So I don't even know. I don't know how to come to you in a way where it won't be an argument or you won't just be yelling or screaming at me, you know? Now, I don't know, you know, that they just feel, but in them, in their mind, they're like, that feels justified. It feels justified if that's the reaction that you had towards them. They'd be like, I get it. I totally understand why you feel that way. They don't want it to be that way, but they would get it. Yeah, they're like, I don't even know. Again, they're just like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to express, you know, how can I, how, how with what, with what happened between the two of us, how can I come back towards you and say, I love you, or I want to be friends with you, or, you know, I really have all these really deep feelings for you, I actually really do, um, but they're like, based on how I moved in the past, like, I could totally understand why you'd be, because, yeah, because they were really sneaky, they were sneaking, they were cheating, they were, you know, lying, or, ghosting you or did whatever they did you know they rejected you in some form of way or another and they're just like <clears throat> they've already learned that that shit comes back around and they're like they're like do is it even worth they're like weighing out is it even worth it i do want to apologize to this person but is it even even worth it to try to go back towards them because i feel like they they don't want me at all you know and I just heard that, heard it through the grapevine. So you might have even told people, like, shared friends or something like that. Like, no, I'm not interested in being friends with this person anymore. No, I don't trust them anymore. No, I don't feel this way about them anymore. Like, I'm not interested in having them in my life. And they're like, shit. Like, or at some point, you might have talked to somebody and been like, I'm furious with this person. Like, I can't believe they acted this way towards me. Um, you know, and you might have forgiven and moved on at this point, you know, and you might not be hot about it like that angry about it but I feel like they have a lot of fears about you being angry towards them they're like oh my god I know that they're just so mad at me because if it was me I'd be so mad at me so I mean I'm not telling you this so that you can rush and unblock this person and reach out towards them I don't think that you should I think that you should let them figure it out because there's been way too much of you being the one stepping up, chasing after this person in the past. And I feel like part of their lesson is learning, is learning all this, is learning that even, you know, that you need to figure it out. And I feel like that's the lesson that they're learning right now is that they need to figure it out. They need to put in the work. They need to figure it out. And they need to learn how to move forward with this and offer uh, an offer an apology and not just be like, oh, I'm scared they're going to go off on me. Like, so what? Like, you still owe them that apology. And I, you know, I think it'll just be with that will of fortune, it'll just be a matter of divine time of this person just needing time to deal with it and to heal and to deal with all the other stuff that they have in their life. So 
if that's as much, uh, you know, as much closure as you need, just know that, you know, and move on about this situation, you know. Um, I don't think that you should sit around waiting for this person to give you an apology, even though they bear, they are very apologetic. For some of them, they're, like, scared of you. <laughs> they're, like, scared of you. I don't know what you said, but you said, I said what I fucking said, get the off my, my life, la, 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 la. And they were, like, they're serious. Like, oh, shit, they're really serious about this. Like, snap. <laughs> How do I even do this? Yeah. All right. Well, that's what I have for you today. I hope this gave you some love, light, and clarity um, for you. It was kind of refreshing to see somebody actually like growing up in the collective. So, you know, some of our past people that we've been, that we've had issues with, um, some of them, very few of them. It's not very often that we have, that I tap into a collective where the people from the past are actually go growing up and healing and learning from their codependency. Um, you know, they're healing from their codependency issues. I think now this per it's just a matter of this person just healing enough to know what to say and know what to do and know that it's okay. Also, you know, if you are still in a situation where you're open to this, I would say send out that, you know, I'm okay. You can talk to me. You can reach out to me. It's okay. You know, kind of energy. If it's something that you are seeking or if it's something that you're like, yeah, I'd like to talk to this person again. I don't feel like you should do it right now, but I feel like you should let it happen in divine time. But at the same time, you know, I can't tell you what to do either way. Um, this is about your life. I'm just here to give you the advice or here to read the situation so you can know exactly what's going on. Okay. So thank you so much. Um, for all the support, um, let me know down in the comment section down below um, if this resonated for you. Like the content if you liked it. Um, share it with somebody if you feel like this is somebody else's story and it would really help them out. Okay. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can know every time I post videos. All right. Um, also, if you feel guided, thank you in advance to anybody who feels guided to uh, donate or tip to the channel. That link is on the description box as well and uh, down there in the description box you can also uh, find my link to my virtual shop where you can be uh, buying and purchasing my uh, tarot decks that I make here um, <laughs> as well as um, reaching out to me for any kind of personal reading or personal spirit guidance if you would like to do that as well okay thank you very much um, and I will see you lovelies in the next one bye <laughs>